I am here with a glycerin free wash day. If you don't like glycerin and you ain't trying to bang with glycerin and it's winter and glycerin dries your hair out or it's summer and glycerin makes your hair poofy and dry and whatever, this is a video for you because this is a glycerin free wash day, honey. <laughs> hey y'all, woo! I got another banger today, y'all. Like, I have some products that I feel like people talk about, but they really don't talk about enough. Like, I am just so happy with my wash day. I'm telling y'all, had an amazing wash day, had an amazing wash day experience using Camille rose naturals and i think this line is a line that people talk about but people really don't talk about this line enough like these products are not just okay like these products are hella bomb like every single product almost there's one ooh, that's what we gotta talk about but for the most part i loved every single product like what it's unheard of y'all know I don't be hyping nothing, but I am really super happy with these products overall. Uh, I purchased these products last year and I'm finally getting around, getting around to trying them. And why? Why did I take so long? Like, I've, don't even finish watching this video. Go and buy these products. I will link all the products down below. Just buy them. Your hair. Well, thank you. Before I started this wash day, I did pre-poo my hair with an aloe vera powder pre-poo. It is hard as hell to get Ayurvedic powders out of your hair. Even if you shampoo, they just stick to your kinky strands. So y'all probably see bits and pieces in my hair, but I assure you it is not flaking. It is aloe vera powder. So I went in first with what is actually the worst product. Um that I use it is their sweet ginger cleansing rinse with castor and aniseed oil it's an enlivening hair cleanser with natural notes of sweet ginger and lem lemon peel let's smell it right quick I don't think it smells like ginger it smells like when I used to go to the Dominican salon back in high school and that whatever shampoo they use smelled exactly like this I'm not really getting the ginger, perhaps a bit of citrus. I wouldn't say the note is necessarily lemon, but it is a citrusy note. Um, I don't know what the cleanser is in this product. They don't mention the cleanser. So what I assume is that they just use saponified oils. So there's water, uh, Moroccan pear oil, cherry kernel oil, urtica oil, and coconut oil. No. <laughs> no. Not a fan of this super duper stripping. My hair felt like straw after rinsing it out, which is fine if that's what I expect. Like I use my clarifying uh, shampoo from Suave. Love that, love that shampoo because I wanted to strip my hair. If I want to strip my hair, I'm going to use a sulfate shampoo. I don't want a sulfate-free shampoo to strip my hair. To me, that's crazy. I will not use this product again. It don't make no sense. I have enough shampoos. I'm gonna try it again. I don't need to make it work for me. I don't need to do any special pre poo before it. I'm not going to dilute it. I'm just going to give it away, which is unfortunate. This shampoo needs a heavy, super-duper bomb deep conditioner to really get it together. But, <laughs> that's where Camille Rose wins so after going in with the shampoo I found that my hair needed a bit of protein so I did my go-to protein treatment I will link the video right here I'm going in with a stripping ass shampoo I'm going in with a drying ass protein treatment but this this is amazing this is their max hydration maximum hydration coconut water penetrating hair treatment I've already talked about this product when I compared it to three other deep conditioners if you haven't seen that video sis what you waiting for definitely check it out right here 
but this is an instant staple this is my second time using it the first time was only in one section so this is my first full use and it's already added to my staple list I love this deep conditioner after I apply this deep conditioner you would not be able to tell that I use a stripping shampoo and a hardening protein treatment like that's just how hydrating like maximum hydration is not just marketing it is indeed facts this is so damn good like as soon as you apply it to your hair your hair softens up it's so good the first five ingredients in this product are ionized water coconut water safflower seed oil behentramonium methyl sulfate and satira alcohol uh, there is coconut oil in this for those of you who are coconut oil sensitive but there's no shea butter as far as the eyes can see um, and I don't think and there is some protein there's hydrolyzed keratin protein towards the end of the ingredient list but that by no means makes this a protein treatment are you are, are you even real like are you are you even real are you even real <sighs> love this love Woo! can't say enough about this product it's so damn good and you ah, trust and believe I'm gonna use the last bit of it and I will be repurchasing it as, as soon as I use on my sash a bit more like I'm not gonna pretend I'm gonna go out and run out and get this because I have about 30 deep conditioners in my stash so but it will be a repurchase because it has become a staple another new staple oh. This is my second time using this. The first time I used it when I tried out that castor oil grease. If you haven't seen that video, boo boo boo. Definitely check it out right here. Wow. This is the type of leave-in that as soon as you apply it onto your hair, your hair feels instantly soft and moisturized. I almost forgot to tell you what it is. It's their coconut water leave-in detangling hair treatment. I definitely need to try the style setter from this line and the co-wash because I love these two and I want to try the entire line because wow this is this is a concentrated leave-in treatment for shiny silky soft hair and that's that's exactly how your hair feels with this it feels nice and smooth and silky like it's something that I can't explain you just really have to check it out for yourself I I have, I don't have enough words to explain how amazing this makes your hair feel. The first five ingredients are distilled water, coconut water, satira alcohol, cetyl alcohol, and behentramonium methyl sulfate. There is coconut fruit extract in this, but I don't see any coconut oil in it. For those of you who are coconut oil sensitive, there's no shea butter. I'm lying, there is shea butter. <laughs> Uh, shea butter be sneaking up on me up. <laughs> yeah, there's shea butter. So there may be some ingredients you don't like, but I completely like the formulation. I like that I can read pretty much every ingredient. I know what the ingredients are. Love this. Honestly, go out and get this product. Ah. What? So good. Like, so good. They smell like imitation coconut. Definitely not a natural coconut scent. Because not I mean natural coconut is a very light scent to be honest. So it's not like typical hair products coconut scent for these, but they still smell nice. The texture is great. It's very thick. This is a thick leave-in. Like you really gotta put your arms into it and work it out, but so good. I did the LCO method, so I did go in next with the Curlade Moisture Butter with green tea and jojoba. Uh, this is supposed to be for all curl types and transitioners. I used to love the Almond Jai Twisting Butter from Camille Rose. Haven't used it in a, in a few years, but it actually used to be a staple. But I've actually never used the Moisture Butter. It smells like cake, like a very subtle cake scent and I'm really surprised of how thick it is like it's actually a very thick and creamy product I expected it to be a bit more lightweight but it has a thickness to it it has like texture to it the first five ingredients are deionized water rice milk y'all know I like my rice milk 
uh, behentramone methyl sulfate, satira alcohol, and coconut extract. Uh, there's shea butter in it. Um, there's aloe vera juice. There's a whole bunch of ingredients. Um, Y'all, like, I like this. I like this product. This product applied really well to my hair. You know, of course, I went in with this and my hair felt amazing. I applied this and the moisture definitely went up. Like, this is good for adding additional moisture. Um, it don't do much for hold. <laughs> As y'all can see, my braid out is not super duper defined, but there is still some hold. And then I feel like I have less shrinkage for some reason, but I do have lots of frizz because this product doesn't really have hold. It just has butters in it. And butters, butters and oils by themselves don't hold my hair. I need some xanthan gum. I need some carbomer. I need some PPP. I need something to hold my hair. So it doesn't really hold your hair, especially because I live in a humid climate. So I'm sure it will be a different experience in the winter. But for me, it doesn't really have the holes. It feels good. It looks good. I'm ready to take on the world. This is a jam. I sealed my hair with this product. This is their Growth and Shine Balm. Their Johnny Growth and Shine Balm with biotin and castor oil for all hair types and textures. This is an amazing product. It's basically a grease. It's four ounces. So it's super duper small, but you really don't need a lot. I, I use too much. My hair is a tad bit greasy, so I did use too much, but that's okay because over the few days, it's going to, of course, go away. And this is what it looks like. Like, wow, this product is amazing. It has become a staple as well. I have three staples. I love how this product applies. It reminds me a lot of the burnt sugar pomade from Oil Handmade, which is also a staple of mine, so it makes sense why I love this. People don't really talk about this product. I guess people aren't really into bombs and greases, but I love my grease. Um, this is supposed to hydrate, soften, and strengthen. I know greases and oils don't soften or moisturize your hair, but this product, as soon as you apply it, your hair feels instantly softer and smoother like my ends weren't snagging you can see when i was taking my hair down my hair was pulling apart very nicely i didn't have issues taking my hair down it was easy to take my hair down and apply this product because it does really well to seal your hair to smooth your hair like it's just an amazing product the takedown was amazing because this product is really just incredible. Um, the first five ingredients are cocoa wafers, rice bran oil, palm, virgin palm kernel, babasu oil, miramuru butter. This product also contains biotin. It contains honey, like a grease with biotin in it. You better come through with the hair growth. This balm is balm, okay? So I did that. Bom, bom. Yeah. And the last product I used, which was basically as a growth aid, I use it on my scalp. I love this too. It's not a staple because y'all know I'm a mixtress. I make my own oils. But for those of you who don't like to make your own oils, this is a great product. This is their Cocoa Nibs and Honey Ultimate Growth Serum, Ayurvedic, Brahmi, and Amla oils for all hair types. The first five ingredients are virgin, virgin Amla oil, virgin sesame seed oil, virgin coconut oil and golden jojoba oils. There's also olive oil in it. Um, yeah, there's biotin, that's MSM. And biotin and MSM is good to apply directly to your scalp. They help with hair growth. Like this product doesn't just have, doesn't just hype itself as a growth aid. It actually contains ingredients that help your hair grow. They're scientifically proven to help your hair grow, which are biotin and MSM. I also will attest that Ayurvedic herbs such as Brahmi, and amla also help with hair growth that's why my hair has been growing like a weed because i use ayurvedic powders all the time this is a good alternative to a diy oil it has amazing amazing ingredients it it, it really just it, it's really good i really like this um i probably wouldn't repurchase only because i make my own oils but i wanted to try it so i could be able to recommend it to y'all and have my own personal experience with it it's such a good oil and definitely definitely so good um 
But yeah, y'all, this is my wash day. I feel like I've been talking forever, but this was really just a great experience. Um, my hair is happy. My hair looks good. It is just a really good wash day. I have no complaints besides the shampoo was trash, but it is what it is. You can't, you won't like every single product within a brand, especially when some of these brands have like 50 products, right? But for, for the most part, I have three staple products from Camille Rose right now. I have actually have four. There's a fourth product I didn't use, but I have four Camille Rose staples. I love Camille Rose. I've just had really good experiences and I I hope you try them. I hope you enjoy them. Let me know if you've tried Camille Rose before. Let me know if you're interested in trying it. Let me know what your favorite product is from Camille Rose, especially if it's one that I haven't mentioned today so I can go out and try it. Um, so yeah, y'all, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace. Bye, y'all.